Hey guys, it's Emily, and today I have another segment for you guys. But before we start, I would like to pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Please help me to speak clearly so that everybody watching my hearing can listen and hear it clearly. And please help everyone at home to learn something from my sermon. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, my sermon is called Ruth. Have you ever had to move to a new house? Was it in a different neighborhood, state, or a different country? What did you miss most about your house? What did you miss most about your home? Your house? Your friends? Your neighbors? Your school? Do you feel different now about your new home from when you first moved? There is a woman in the Bible who had left her home to be with her mother-in-law. Let's find out what happened to her. Who was Ruth? Ruth was a Moabite. He married a Jewish man and lived with his mother, brother, and his brother's wife. The family Ruth married into was from Judah. That family had left because of the famine where they lived. Later, Ruth's husband and brother-in-law died. She was left with her sister-in-law and her mother-in-law. Her mother-in-law was named Naomi, and her sister-in-law was named Orpah. Ruth's Big Decision One day, Naomi decided to go back to her home in Judah. She told her two daughters-in-law to stay in Moab. Orpah kissed Naomi and left. Ruth said to her mother-in-law, Do not urge me to leave you or to return from following you. For where you go, I will go, and where you live, I will live. Your people will, shall be my people, and your God, my God. Where you die, I will die, and there will I be buried. May the Lord do so to me, and more also, if anything but death parts me from you. So Naomi and Ruth left for Judah. Naomi and Ruth were poor in Judah, so Ruth had to glean so that they could eat. Gleaning was something described in the Hebrew Bible. The poor would collect leftovers of what had already been harvested. Ruth gleaned in a field that belonged to a man named Boaz. Although Ruth did not know it at the time, Boaz was a kinsman redeemer. A kinsman redeemer is a male relative that is responsible for a relative that is in trouble. A kinsman redeemer is also known as a guardian redeemer. While Ruth was gleaning, Boaz spotted her and asked the servant who was in charge of the reapers about her. The kindness of Boaz. Boaz was told that the woman had been Boaz was told that the woman he had spotted was named Ruth, and that she had come back with Naomi. Boaz said to Ruth, My daughter, listen to me. Do not go and glean in another field, and don't go away from here. Stay here with the, with the woman who worked for me. Watch the fields where the men are harvesting, and follow along after the woman. I have told the men not to lay a hand on you, and whenever you are thirsty, Go and get a drink from the water jars and that men had already filled. So Boaz was being really nice to Ruth. He was protecting her from all the men and giving her something to drink because he saw how because he saw how good Ruth was of a worker. When Ruth came home from gleaning, Naomi saw how much food she had brought home. Naomi asked Ruth whose field did she glean in? When Ruth told her, Naomi, Naomi told Ruth to keep on gleaning in his field. Naomi told Ruth that she would be safe gleaning in his field. Naomi speaks to Ruth. At the end of the harvest festival, Naomi told Ruth to wash, put on perfume, and get into her best clothes. Then go to where Boaz will lie down near the threshing floor until he uncovered his feet and lay down. Naomi told Ruth that Boaz would tell her what to do next. 
What do you think Ruth was thinking? Do you think she was scared? Nervous, maybe? Do you think, did you think that, did you think that Naomi was making her do something bad? I bet that Ruth had a lot of trust in her Naomi. Boaz and Ruth. Ruth went down to the threshing floor. When Boaz had finished eating and drinking and was in good spirits, he went over to lie down at the far end of the grain pile. Ruth approached Ruth approached quietly, uncovered his feet, and lay down. Boaz felt something, and when he looked up, Owen was laying at his feet. Who are you? asked Boaz. I am your servant Ruth. Spread the corner of your garment over me, since you are a guardian redeemer of our family, Ruth replied. Although it is true that I am a guardian redeemer of, your, of our family, there is another who is more closely related than I. Stay here for the night, and in the morning, if he wants to do his duty as your guardian redeemer, good. Let him redeem you. But if he is not willing, as surely as the Lord lives, I will do it. Fly here until morning, said Boaz. In the morning, Boaz gave Ruth six measures of barley and sent her back home to her mother-in-law. If Ruth... If Ruth's closest guardian redeemer wanted to redeem her, then she and him would have married. But Ruth wanted to marry Boaz. The Agreement Meanwhile, Boaz went up to the town gate and sat down there just as the guardian redeemer he had mentioned came along. Boaz said, come over here, my friend, and sit down. So he went over and sat down. Boaz took ten of the elders of the town and said, Sit here, and they did so. Then he said to the guardian redeemer, Naomi, who has come back from Moab, is selling the piece of the land that belonged to our relative Amalek. I thought I should bring the matter to your attention and suggest that you buy it in the presence of these seated here and in the presence of the elders of my people. If you redeem it, do so. But if you will not, tell me, for I will know, for no one has the right to do it except you, and I am next in line. I will redeem it, he said. Then Boaz said, On the day you buy, it, buy the land from Naomi, you will also require Ruth the Moabite, the, the dead man's widow, in order to maintain the name of the dead with his property. At this, the guardian redeemer said, then I cannot redeem it, because I might endanger my own, my own estate. You may redeem it yourself. I cannot do it. Now in the earlier times of Israel, for the redemption and transfer of property to become final, one party took off his sandal and gave it to the other. This was the method of legalizing transactions in Israel. So basically like shaking their hand, they said, they said they took off and they gave the sandal to the other person. So the guardian redeemer said to Boaz, Buy it yourself, and you remove the sandal. Then Boaz announced to the elders and the people and all the people, Today you are witnesses that I have brought from pro property from Naomi. I have also acquired Ruth the Moabite, Mahalan's widow, as my wife, in order to maintain the name of the dead with his property, so that his name will not disappear from among his family or from his hotel. Today, you are witnesses. God had a plan for Ruth. God has a plan for you too. Ruth ended up marrying Boaz and she had a son. They named the baby Obed. Obed had a son named Jesse and Jesse had a son named David. You guys probably recognize that name. Yes, Ruth's great grandson is King David of Israel. So, where, so wherever you go, or wherever you are, or no matter how you feel out of place, just remember that God is with you, and he will work out everything, just like he did with Ruth. Okay, guys, let's pray to close. Dear God, thank you for going with us wherever we go, and thank you for working, working out everything in our lives. Please help us to trust you, just like Ruth did. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 
Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this sermon and I hope you learned a lot from this. Goodbye!